I'm Craig Loper. Welcome back everyone. Well, the stage was set this afternoon in Virginia Beach for an incredible matchup in the class five state semifinal between Maury and Green Run. The Commodore sitting at nine and one heading to the game. Meanwhile, the Stallions were 13 and 0 and a trip to the state championship was on the line. Rain was coming down heavy in this one, but both teams took the field lit regardless. There they are. You see it right there. Stallions first pass play of the game up in the air. Kevin White Jr. You know that vertical pass attack so dangerous, but Kendall Daniels says not today picks it off and that's a great Commodore start. Now they take over on offense. Look who it is. Daniels the QB power here. He's got all kinds of space in front of him. Long run into green run territory and that right there sets up this man Peyton Jones. The Duke commit going to punch it in from a few yards out. Great running back for them, but he would actually miss the re most of the rest of the game with injury. Uh, he'd be on the sideline. Seven nothing Maury. Green run responded. Handoff to Damari Palmer near the goal line. He's in the end zone. It is seven to seven, just like that. Second quarter now. Same score. Backup running back Melvin Lowe taking advantage of his opportunity. He punches it in from a few yards out. 14 to 7. Commodores take the lead. Fourth quarter now. It's still 14 7. Direct snap to Devontae Floyd. And watch this run. Break out of the pile and there he goes and he's gone. How about a 44 yard touchdown scamper made it 21 to 14 green run did add a late score, but that would be it. Maury is advancing to another class five state title game under the leadership of head coach Doree McCain. And I'm saying this in the most respectful way. We don't care about going undefeated in the regular season. You want to go undefeated in the, in, in the postseason. That's what we care about. So uh, for the guys to get it done, knowing that we got to take care of this game to get there, um, hats off to the defense, hats off to our special teams. We had a couple of mistakes. But again, this is playoff football and, and teams that are going for the state title. So you expect this type of game. Great crowd, uh, great game, but um, our guys came ready to go. Maury against Highland Springs for the Class 5 state title next Saturday at ODU. Class six state semifinal. It was a long day near uh, Woodbridge for Western Branch. They come to an end. You see the final score 69 to 14. They lose to that freedom team that's been on an absolute historical run this season. Class three Phoebus is the reigning state champion. The Phantoms have steamrolled its opponents this season dating back to last year. They're actually riding an 18 game winning streak going for 19 in a row in the state semis at Darlene Stadium against Brentsville District. First possession for Brentsville, first pass for the Tigers tip right into the hands of Jaden early. I mean, he's a ball hawking type of guy. The ball just seems to find him. Phantoms in business. Tyreon Taylor, check out the stiff arm right there. I mean, that's something like Derrick Henry straight out of the NFL would do. 29 yards to the house. Phoebus goes up seven to nothing. Now to the second quarter. Early in at quarterback for the injured Nolan James. Going to keep it 17 yards to the house around the left side of his line. 17 nothing just like that. Now after a Brentsville touchdown, ensuing kickoff. This is Keontae Gray. And Gray is on the loose. He's got a convoy in front of him. 80 yards to pay dirt. Oh, yeah, that man can be young, excited about that. Phoebus now up 24 to 7. Finally, before the end of the first half, lets it rip early. Finds future Pitt Panther Jordan Bass. He's been doing it all season. He's so big, so fast. 50 yard touchdown. Phoebus gets the win as they advance to next week's Class 3 state championship in Lynchburg with the win today, 58 to 14. They're going to take on Heritage of Leesburg. Class 4 state semifinal. Warwick from Newport News on the road against undefeated Dinwiddie. Muddy track there in Petersonburg. Dinwiddie's first drive. Harry Dalton going to hit Christian Drumgool on the wide receiver screen and Drumgool is going to take it to the four yard line. Next play. Zaylen Wiggins on the jet sweep. That is a four yard touchdown right there. Dinwiddie up seven to nothing. Warwick trying to respond. Fourth down on the goal line, but Davion Corpening is stuffed, and that is tough to watch for head coach Harrison right there. Goal line stand for Dinwiddie. Warwick would recover a couple fumbles, but couldn't capitalize today. Dinwiddie goes on to beat the Raiders 28 to nothing, and their season comes to an end. Class two state semifinal today. Pocosin on the road. They fall to Central Woodstock tonight, 37 to 10. The Islanders end the season nine and five.